Hey guys, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are around the world. UFC Mexico has just ended. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I want to start off with the bad. The the negative things that happened last night. Judging. The judging was god awful. Terrible. What the fuck? To the point where I done my own judging and I went, how did they come up with that outcome? I've come up with this outcome. Maybe I'm just shit at judging, but the judging's been off tonight. Next up, the bad is some fights were a bit boring. Now, you can't really blame anyone. It's just what happens sometimes. It, it, it just happens in fights. It, you can't control it. you got to match the right styles together, and the only way you do that is put each other against each other. That's how you get the best of the best. And sadly, we did not get to see the best against the best tonight. But my god, some of those fights were good. Now, I feel like we should jump straight into what I got wrong and what I got right. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. We have everything that I got right. Now, let's start with... I don't know who I don't know who I had. So we have Muhammad. I can't remember his full name. Stupid me, I should have wrote it down. Muhammad won. Felipe Dos Santos won. But apparently, I didn't get to see these two fights because these two were on um, ESPN Plus or the UFC uh, Fight Pass. It was not on BT, so I missed these two fights, which was a bit sad. Apparently, Felipe Dos Santos won by a very controversial decision, split decision. Then we had Ronald Rodriguez. He won. I don't exactly remember how all these guys won. I just know that I checked them if I got it right or wrong. Next up was Puelez. Uh, pu, pu, eh, I can't say his name. Pue, Pueles. I can't say it. I know you don't pronounce the L's. It's like pu, 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 es. I can't fucking do it. But I got that one wrong. His opponent won. I should have wrote down who won. I'm an idiot. Uh, next I had Lacardia. Lesar, I, I apologize. I'm a bit tired, and I'm not great with names. Next up was Gayla, Aguila. Oh, for fuck, I've fucked that. I've butchered that name so bad. I apologize. Let's just say Je Jesus, as his name is. I got that one right. Barcelos, I got that one right. Manuel Torres, I got that one right. Sam Hughes, I got that one wrong. Rule Rosas Jr. got cancelled. Uh, they're trying to reschedule that for... I don't remember what they said. Either UFC 299 or next week. I'll have to update you when that happens. Daniel Zelhaba. Zelhaba. He won. Brian Ortega won. In an amazing fashion. I can't wait to get into that. And then Brandon Mourinho lost. And one of the judges gave it to him. But I personally did not give it to him. But let's jump into my scorecard instead. Okay. Starting off. We have Rodriguez versus Bondar. I did right now. So, I gave the first round 10-9 to Bonda. Uh, I said he had an amazing start. That's probably the only thing I put. Uh, and Rodriguez uh, got better at the end, but got dominated. So, better end, but got dominated. I do believe that was on the... Gr no, striking. And then, obviously, in round two, uh, great ground control submission in round two. Great... Did I say took? What the fuck is took? Oh. I'm terrible at writing. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. I said it was great. He took his time. Lovely ground control and submission. Uh, Bondar worked better on his feet as pressure. Puyez. Still can't say his name versus Zium. Or Zium. Uh, I, I'm just going to call him Puelez. I'm sorry. Well, as uh, I gave 10 9 to round one, grand control, takedowns. Uh, Zion was great on the feet, got a knockdown, but the grand control took up most of the fight in that round, so. Then I gave it 10 9. This one I actually got confused on. This round I was stuck on because I didn't know who to give it to. This one I was very stuck on. I was like, here, yeah, like, Puelez had a, a very dominant round two on the ground. But Zion, he had a good end, and he, he did very well in ground and pounds. 
So maybe you could have edged that either way, but I gave it to Puelas. Then obviously Zion took round 10, ended the round strong, and Puelas needed to strike more, which he, he just didn't. So Puelas, I said he dominates the ground, and Zion needed it on the feet to win. Next up is Chieres versus or Chieres versus Lucerda. Obviously, Lucero lost. Um, got a arm, no, a triangle. I almost put on triangle. He put a triangle, and I said perfect angle, angle build up. So that's the word got for that round. Aguila versus Men Mendo Mendos Men Mendoncia. Uh, I actually don't write any notes here except Agu Aguila got hurt in round ten. In round two, sorry, ten. In round two, and then. Um, Mendoncia uh, obviously dominated the uh, fight on the ground. Uh, and I put Mendoncia. Oh, uh, then I gave round three. So I gave it 29 28 Mendoncia to Ag Aguilia. I put Aguilia was better on the feet, did well on top mount, and gave. What was that? Gave last round up. Oh, yeah, I say gave the last round up. And I said. Uh, Mendoncia had dominated top mount. I like this because I get to put down my thoughts and the reason why I scored it this way. Quinones versus Barcelos. Uh, I had round one to Quinones saying grand, good grand. Wait, why did I put go grand and pound? Good grand and pound, grapple and wrestling. Good start on the feet, don't wrestle. I was completely wrong with that. Then Barcelos, no. In round two of this fight, Barcelos kind of need him while his hand was on the ground. I don't know if that's still an illegal strike. It was an illegal strike, but I don't know if it is now. Because I know they said they were going to remove it, and I then they done it like a week after that it was illegal still. So it's it's still a confusing thing. And then Barcelos. Uh, Quinones actually got hurt, and so did Barcelos in round two. And then obviously, Barcelos gets the submission in round three and ends. Torres versus uh, Duncan. Uh, Torres hurt Duncan in round one. And that was it. <laughs> he just hurt him and submitted him. Did, yeah, okay. Yeah, Torres uh, uh, was hurt and then submitted Duncan. Yeah. That fight, I was like, wow. Now we got the women's. I cannot pronounce uh, her name and I'm sorry. I will just show you it. Also, you can see how terrible my handwriting is. Yeah. I said Hughes needs to um respect back uh, to um respect and obviously get her on the back foot so she can obviously get the grapple in. She needs her up against the cage basically, and uh, yeah, it was just a dominant fashion from her opponent. I put too fast with striking masterclass. It was an absolute masterclass on the feet from her. Uh. Hughes just couldn't get any grand and she couldn't get any grand off. I don't know what the fuck that meant. Obviously, I meant she couldn't get her to the ground and then she couldn't get any of her shots off either. So it was terrible. Next up is Zelba, Zelhaba versus Prado. Uh, Prado, sorry. Uh, I gave all for all rounds to Zelhaba. I did not write any notes. Why did I not write any notes? What a fight. Beautiful. That is all the notes I put. That is a smart thing from me. But Prado, I gave him notes. In round two, I said he needs to establish his jab and counter and don't trade because he was trading a lot. And obviously, Zelhaba was winning every single one of those trades. And then uh, round three, I put great heart because he does. He had a great heart, but that's not going to win. That's only going to take you so far. Next up is Rodriguez versus Ortega. My God, this fight was so good. It had me shook. It had me scared. Because obviously I said Ortega would win. A lot of people have been, you know, doubting Ortega. And yeah, I believed in him and I knew he could do it. In round one, uh, I said Rodriguez Rodriguez had dominant strikes. So I gave it 10-9. Uh, Ortega can submit him, but needs to be careful. And then round two, I gave it 10 to Ortega, 9 to Rodriguez. And I said ground and pounds for Ortega and then 10 Nothing, Ortega wins by sub. Like I said in round one, he can submit him, and he did. So, 
There you go. And now for your main event. Mourinho versus Roy Val. My God. Roy Val. Uh, yeah, he deserved that win. Mourinho did not deserve to win that fight. He was doing the same shots every time. He wasn't setting it up. It was always the left hook. Not even left hook. It was the left overhand. And then a kick. And it's like, okay, you're just going to keep repeating the same thing. Roy Val, all he had to do was wait for the end of that combination. Just check the leg kick. Because that leg kick always comes right at the end of the combinations. But anyways, here we go. Round one, it was way too slow. Nothing really happened. But Mourinho definitely put out more um, of a pace than Roy Val. It was still extremely slow. It's just I feel Mourinho did more. Round two. Mourinho again. I gave it to Mourinho. Needs to stop. Needs to set up uh, and stop saying, stop throwing the same shots. And then Roy Val, I put, needs more output. In round three, uh, I gave it to Roy Val. Dick kick, because he did kick him on the cup. So I thought it'd be funny, I put dick kick on there. I don't know why I thought that was funny. But I put Roy Val had better output in that fight. And then uh, Mourinho, I put, needs new combos. And he needs to use his leg kicks, which he eventually starts using. And then Rival in... I gave Rival round four. Continues with output. Should probably check. Because he, he he just kept letting that leg kick, thigh kick, land. Uh, and then I put for Mourinho. Needs to be more active or set up top mount. Or get top mount, sorry. He did need to get top mount. He kept trying for it and it just didn't work. And then, in round five, I gave it Roy Val again. I put great output, showed that he wanted it more. And I put for Mourinho, waited too long, two, uh, two or more takedown attempts lost. And I believe that lost him the fight, because he was too busy trying to land the overhand. And then he was trying to... I don't know, he was... I don't know what his game plan was. Like, whenever that overhand would land... Rival kind of adapted to it eventually in the fight and you're like okay it was nice to see him trade a little bit but I believe Rival just won most of that so yeah anyways my thoughts on Mourinho was needed more shot selections and setups and for Rival I put I believe Rival did the, did more in the last three rounds and deserved the fight but I got three predictions wrong four predictions wrong I think that's pretty successful. But apart from that, guys, I've got nothing else to add. But let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy the fights? Did you even watch the fights? Did you watch the PFL versus Bellator card? I thought that was great. So it kind of had high expectations for this card, which kind of let me down a little bit. But it was still a great card nonetheless. Every single fight card is great. But you're always going to have that one or two fights that just let you down, which is disappointing. But apart from that, I really had a good time. I've still got a few snacks to finish up. I've got to edit this video and uh, probably go off to bed myself for a, while, for a bit. And then get out in the garden, do some MMA. Probably sleep some more, have some food. And then start Monday fresh. Apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Peace. Mm -hmm.